Hello everyone, today is a very special day, I'm really excited because I got my first witch casket delivered this afternoon, well this morning really, it was about 11.30 though so it's kind of afternoon. Um, I am not affiliated with these anyway, they haven't paid me to do this review, I paid for this without my own money, um, but it was October and I really really wanted the October themed um, witch casket, I've seen so many beautiful posts with the um basically if you're wondering what it is it is kind of like any other subscription box except witch themed and it's created by two witches in the UK and every month they sometimes have a theme I believe and they put in very thoughtful and beautiful combinations of items you don't just get like three images or something in a pack of tea and then that's it and then there's the main bulk of the item you actually <clears throat> excuse me still got some throat issues you actually get quite a lot for the money i know it's 26 if you're in the uk including postage if you're outside of the uk i think the price differs um but i'll link them down below I'm, i have already seen what's in here but i was so excited to share with you everything that has in, been included in here it's really really nice really well thought out and um, i'll just be just back in a second with the rest of the items now i've just got the box here and there's some things that are still entwined with each other oh so the first thing that you come to, or that I came to, was this witch casket little info booklet about everything that they've got in here, where it came from. Um, obviously, it's nice to you know credit the people who've made stuff for your basket, and they have done. Um, and this is basically. Let me just see if I can read this. Not without my glasses on, <laughs> um, but there's a little poem here or a letter, and then. You come to this gorgeous artwork, really, really lovely artwork. So this is from Tea Cake Art, and this is from Illustraxia Tea Studio. Oh, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> gonna have to link this down below. But these are lovely. I will be definitely having these on my altar for Sawen, and they're just really nice, different prints that normally you only see on Instagram and places. So I'm really, really happy to have these here. Okay, so they're there. And then I was really excited about this pumpkin spice tea. <gasps> I'm so excited we have pumpkin spice tea. I've only had one pumpkin latte. Um, to me, it just tastes of ginger and cinnamon. And it's a bit orange. So I'm sorry for being <laughs> ruining people's imaginations. But it, it, it does literally just taste of ginger and spices. Um, to me, anyway. But this one has black tea, apple, orange... Rose hip pieces, oh I love that, hibiscus, calendula, sunflower petals, cinnamon, natural flavours and it's organic so pretty much pumpkin spice, that's uh, probably all the things I always smell. Um, and then we have an empowerment elixir kit which to be honest I am not going to open until later but I will you know film when I've done that and this includes everything you need to create your own magical empowering potion slash elixir so I will be opening opening this slightly later on but I will just kind of let you know what everything else is first oh yeah we have this gorgeous I think it's a sticker I love this I absolutely love that so I'll put that over there then what did I come to next oh yes I'm so excited a vegan Belgian chocolate trick-or-treat bar like this is perfect for me because I am vegan I don't know how many people know that but I am vegan or plant-based um and basically this is a treat that I will probably stash on my bedside table for whenever I really need a little bit of a nonch um what was this one? Oh yes I know what that one is and then we have resting witch face a little pin here which is really nice at the back um I should have a little pin banner or something to keep these on because I've got other things too but I love this one this is I think that um there's a few that I actually want to put on a jacket but 
we'll see and that kind of resting witch face is something that I've wanted on a t-shirt for a long time and the next one we have have we got five yeah five crystals which I've never known a basket to do a casket sorry to do before this is an empowerment crystal set and we have multi-banded agate silver leaf jasper leopard skin jasper green aventurine and tiger's eye i can confirm the tiger's eye is bloody beautiful um and there we go if you can see that that's gorgeous and again i will open that for you guys in just a second i just want to go through everything that's here first and then oh, we have this which is a pentacle altar tile um, which is basically looks like that, but I am going to open this one just so you can see it actually. This is, I think it's hand drawn. Yeah, I think it's hand drawn and it's gorgeous. I love it. You can put your stand your candles on here. You can do, you know, herb work on here. Whatever you want to do. It's gorgeous. I love it so much. This is one of my favourite items in the entire thing. And it's got this little bit of fuzz underneath so it won't slide everywhere. On, well, it'll probably slide everywhere on this, but it won't slide everywhere. And then we have this bottle with frog's breath on it, which I really like. <laughs> and probably put it in the, um, the elixir in here as well. It's just so cute. I love everything. Everything. And then, as if this isn't, this is already more than what you get in typical caskets and you know subscription boxes this is far beyond anything that I think I have ever received in like fairy loot everything this is so much and I want to thank the ladies for doing this because it's so thoughtful and well put together and all themed and it's absolutely great and then we have this little incense holder which is magnetic I don't know whether you can see it but it clicks back together and this is, oh, is it a little magnetic incense holder thing Actually, I should check the um, information thing on that because I have no idea. And then we have spell candles. I think it's one, two, three, six black spell candles to go with the wee little spell scroll that you have here, I believe. Which, again, I haven't opened. It's still sealed, which I probably will open and show you guys when I open everything else. And then we have... Whoops! Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I love this. Little Hocus Pocus. And on the other side, I don't know whether you can see it, um, but it's got a little black cat with a hat on it, which is so cute. And then the final item, apart from a lot of little of these packaging, we have wizard spell incense sticks, which are really, really nice. I can only put incense on when my cat that has asthma when she's outside. And I only put incense on in my room when she's outside. Um, but it smells lovely. I've already... It's got that kind of um, fruity almost smell, but not like... Maybe a pumpkin spicy smell, actually. But that is everything that they've got here. And like I say, anything that needs opened, I will open in just a moment. But I already want to say, if you are in the UK, or even if you're outside the UK and you can afford one definitely do it they're very getting very 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 popular now and this one was sold out pretty quickly september's went in a flash you know um so i'm hoping to get november soon because i had to pause it just for a few days until i get paid for something else um but yeah this is absolutely great and i highly recommend it i'm going to open the others in just a second but well done and i hope you guys enjoy this and hopefully what else comes in a second and we're back. Okay, so I'm going to do the crystals first because I have already seen them. And then I'll read out what they're supposed to be. If I can put them to the actual um, name, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's been a while since I've had more crystals. So, silver leaf jasper I would imagine is this one. Um, just because it looks like it's got silver in it. And I wouldn't say, or oh, maybe it's this one. This might be, oh, this might be Silver Leaf Jasper. This one is Balance, Grounding, Stability and Willpower, which is lovely. And then we have this gorgeous tiger's eye. It's so, so lovely. I'll see if you can see it a bit better. It's just like the shiniest 
loveliest crystal I've had for a long time and Tiger's Eye is all about confidence, charisma, power and integrity and then we have this must be the multi-banded agate this must be or maybe this is silver leaf jasper I can't remember anyway this is for protection, insomnia, bad dreams and grounding Apart from the Tiger's Eye and the Green Aventurine, I have not worked with any of these crystals. So forgive me if I'm a little bit confused, but this is definitely Jasper. And either, well, I think I actually think this is good. Change, Forgiveness, Insecurity and Anger Management is Leopard Skin Jasper, which I feel that would be. Green Aventurine is for success, good fortune, prosperity and independence. And I have actually used this quite a bit before in rituals spells you know things like that so I have used them and they are lovely and they are still going in their little pouch um, it's a shame I received this after the full moon or else I would have charged them um, but it doesn't matter it's fine right so let's go into the witch casket a little spell I really don't want to hurt this and my cat's just decided to come in hello my little familiar um, I really don't want to hurt this scroll See if I can do it. Ooh, almost. There we go. Oh, hoo -hoo, cute. Now this is witchy tips. Wash the doorways to your home with warm water and a few drops of peppermint essential oil to give your home a fresh vibration and welcome abundance and luck. Wow. Oh, this, I love this. This is really, really cute. Sigil magic, white candles wrap magical tools in black cloth yes when stirring drinks food or brews stir them clockwise to attract yep i do this <laughs> almost every time i do a brew of tea i stir it clockwise and counterclockwise to banish things so that could be something that maybe you guys want to do as well selenite is a great crystal for cleansing other crystals yes you just pop it on top um or pop crystals that you want to cleanse on top of selenite and it does actually um, cleanse them which is I love that I'm put that over there now this is the empowerment elixir kit and this says it's got everything you need to create your own magical empowering potion slash elixir oh I don't want to hurt this either oh no oh damn it I have you know un not, not very flexible fingers so let's have a see what's in here Ooh, that bag smells amazing because of all these. Okay, so we have three packs of herbs, which, you know, if you looked on eBay, you'd probably be looking at easy seven pounds for these. All right, so what's on here? Ooh, pretty room. So this is your empowerment elixir. We have basil. Oh, that must be what I can smell. Meadow sweet pomegranate peel. Ooh. I have been actually in a very big Persephone mood lately, so this is really happy for me. Um, fill a glass jar. Okay, and then basically I think it just tells you how to brew this elixir. What else do you need? Water and a full moon. Okay, so definitely the full moon in November, which will be in Taurus. I am going to have this. <laughs> I am going to have this um so yeah this i'm charging the crystals the full moon in taurus i am definitely going to start working with these items and stuff like that um i feel like the full moon is when is it i can't quite remember which is bad of me let me let me just check i found out and it's the 12th of november so it's just shy of my birthday well it's later than my birthday and just shy of the 11 11 energy but you know you can do it whenever really if it's a nice clear night on the 11th of the 11th i'm probably gonna do a little bit of this not gonna lie um but yeah these are the things that are within the little baskets and little baggies of which casket again i would highly recommend highly 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 recommend that you get them because these are quality crystals Every item that you get is quality, even the box is quality, as my cat is currently judging because she wants to get in it. Um, even the artwork, you know, this isn't just 
here this is oops, it isn't just flimsy card it's like a proper good card stock that you'd get in tarot cards and stuff so it's really really nice really really good i'll leave the link in everything down below just in case any of you want to check it out um but otherwise really really love it for my first experience with a witch casket and i'm looking forward to doing more unboxings like this if you would like it in the near future thanks guys speak to you guys very soon